Within the heart of Maine, there is a fishing guide who spends every waking hour helping his clients achieve their fishing goals, whether that be in inches, weight, species, or numbers. In those rare times when he doesn't have to guide, he sets out to accomplish a fishing goal of his own. You see, he only cares to be good at one thing, and that's fly fishing. In order to grow, he knows he needs a good challenge from time to time. Kevin McKay had muskie on the brain. More and more fly fishing anglers seem to get infected by the thought of chasing such elusive fish. Lucky for Kevin, those prized toothy giants lurk in the northern waters of his home state, a little known fact he was well aware of. Now the time was right for Kevin to get his own bucket list fish and prove that catching muskie isn't as hard as they say. Not in Maine, not even on the fly. So he assembled a crew to join him on his adventure, his bestest gal Stacy and his most loyal client Scott. Both of which who had picked up fly fishing only three years ago under his mentorship. Kevin felt that they all had the right amount of experience and were ready for something bigger. But were they? This is the trials and tribulations of these three anglers as they pursue one of the most difficult fish to catch. That's the problem with these fish. You don't know what fly to throw. Yes. You know, in, we're fishing in October. It was snowing there this morning. Uh, you know, the fall is when you suppose you catch the big ones. You know, the feeding before winter. Our plan is to drive three hours north. We got two boats, three fishermen, and we're gonna cover some water. We got three days they say it's fish of 10,000 casts. I want to prove that mean you don't have to do it in 10,000 casts. Hopefully I'm right. To one of us, just just one of us <laughs> catching a fish. Nice. One of the, in the next three days, one of us catches a fish. That's all. Just saying, <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, it'll be me second cast. Scott, second cast. <laughs> the three of them headed north to the St. John River and met up with Del Harrington a local muskie guide that agreed to help point them in the right direction. We're gonna be heading up today and uh, do some late, late fall muskie fishing. Uh, the water temp's down in the low to mid 30s. The big fish uh, got the feed bags on. They're starting to feed pretty heavy. Real good time to be out there. Just gotta dress warm, be prepared for it, and have a lot of fun. I'm cold, <laughs> but it's worth it. If they're feeding, they're out in the current, so it should be pretty good. Musky fishing, baby! Come on! I'm a beginner. I'm new at this. I have no idea if I can catch one of these fish, but I'm sure the hell gonna try. Can I keep up with Kevin? You know, am I gonna be able to do that? Am I gonna be sitting in the bow of the boat crying, going, I can't do this? I fish a lot more than the average person starting to do it. You know, I, I practice every day casting. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm new to it, but it's like the amount of time that I've put in, in those years, I wanted to get good. There is a lot of pressure. You've been fly fishing three years, you've been fly fishing three years. I've been almost 20 years. And we're gonna go try to catch a fish that takes 10,000 casts to catch. Only 9,000 more to go. 10 weights beat you up, man. It, it, it's just so different fishing for muskie than any other fish I've ever fished for. You know, it's heavy fly line, big rods, big flies. Um, it was bad conditions, uh, so it's work. I think this is a tough fish. You know, muskie's a whole different game. You have to be patient. You think black, huh? Looks cool in the water. Well, I like the other fly, I think, better. 
and it's extremely challenging. It's challenging enough to catch them with traditional methods, but when you start getting the fly rod out, it makes it a lot tougher. You really, it's, it's tricky trying to get those fish excited enough to bite. Figure eights is one of the harder things to do. It seems like a little simple thing to do, but you can practice casting out in your yard all day long, but it's pretty hard to practice a figure eight on your front lawn. <laughs> it's hard to believe that they take right inside the boat like that. You know? Um, you know, all that is learning, you know, how to do it, being able to pull your, your, you know, your leader up into the eyes and get it in tight enough to be able to do it. When you, you, you've got the fly drawn up that far, it seems really unnatural to work a fly and try to elicit a strike when you have no line out. But, you know, a lot of fish are caught like that, so. I've known about the muskie for a long time in Maine, and it's always been on my bucket list of going up and, and fishing for them. And, you know, you watch videos online, you read the books, they're so hard to catch. If I can catch them anywhere in the, the U.S. and we have them in Maine, I'm going to catch them in Maine. You know, right off quick, Dell got a, a 36 or 37 inch muskie second cast on the bait caster and no one has had a follow since then getting used to throwing 10 weights with 400, 400 grain lines we have fished the middle of the river we have fished the edges we've fished eddies but the water is really dark right now so you can't really see if you have a follow or not this next little section looks really promising. When I found fly fishing, it was something different. I'm like, that's what I've been looking for. Because I figured if you're gonna be good at something, you can only be good at one thing. You can be mediocre at golf, fishing, basketball, whatever it is. But if you wanna be really good at something, you can only do one thing. So I only fish. You know, it's like you know, every cast is a potential fish when you're doing this. Every cast. I'm retying. My gut tells me not the black. Okay. What'd you put on? The, the one I tied last night. When you first start out fly fishing, everything's new. So going for muskie is like, it's my newness to fly fishing. Mm -hmm. Any minute, one of us could hook up. Right here, right here, right here. Come Put him in the water. Put your net in the water. You're good. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Okay, here it comes. Coming in. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Shake it, man! Shake it! <laughs> I was shaking afterwards. Woo! Not many fish do that for me anymore. That muskie was like my first fish. It's like my first time fly fishing. It takes me to the newbie stage. I really think that's what everyone's chasing when they fish is that feeling of when they're a little kid catching that sunfish. Because how exciting is it when you're, you're fresh and you're new and you hook that fish for the first time? I don't care if it's a sunfish, it's a bass. That was textbook musky, wasn't it? Right, they follow right to the boat, did the figure eight, 
to eat it. <laughs> I mean, I would have never thought that worked in a million years. It's like everything's like a blur. What happened? I'm pretty sure there's two fish there. It just seemed like there's two fish. <sighs> Woo! Still feeling it. I've just never fished out in the middle like this. What color? Chartreuse, baby! That won't work. <laughs> yeah. I think that fish was colorblind. <laughs> if nothing else, we're having tons of fun. <laughs> the stacked in here. I want another one. Fish out! Big one, big one, big one! Okay, he's getting that, getting that. You ready? Yeah. Now, left, left. Nice job. He did it. Good job. <laughs> Teamwork. Did my fly, oh, he's still in there. Oh yeah, oh. he's bigger. <laughs> I was proud of him, you know, because we went into this trip not knowing if we would catch anything. So for him, that was already a success. Now we just got to get these two hooked up on flies. It's definitely a lot different than catching any other species of fish where this fish is just is strong and uh you know i was really surprised when i said to him i was like oh it doesn't seem like they fought and he's like oh yeah wait till you hook up one and then or hook one up and uh and so i did and and it walked me right down the boat so fish on scott you got one Check your knot. He wasn't hooked really good. I hooked him in the back. Like back here. Oh, that sucks. You're good. You hooked one, man. Equipment didn't fail. Nope. I didn't no, fail. No, it's just, just just the way the fish was hooked, yep. you know? Ah. Get motivating, though. Hey, I don't care. I'm hooked into a fish. I, you know, it just, is, it sucks. Uh, but I realized now, you know, what I was doing wrong. Every missed fish is a learned fish. You gotta lose fish and miss fish to catch fish. Oh. Scott just had one on. Really? He did a trout set. Scott! Don't trout set again! Oh, fish on! Fish on! Oh! oh! Hey, bro! No trout sets! Yep. yep. Oh! Sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. That'll piss me off. Straight up piss me off. Mm. You're doing good. I feel I have to do a lot of prep mentally. You know, even if it's a tough day fishing, you can usually get something. You'll have a bite, you'll have a, you know, you'll see fish, you know, that sort of thing. There's some sort of reward at the end. Muskies, not so much. It's just harder to figure out. So it's super frustrating for sure for me. Dace needs to hook up now. Yep. She will. She will. Keep grinding. That's right. Keep grinding. That last day, I, I'm not gonna lie, I cried. It was very emotional for me. 
it left me going, okay, I can do it. Now my expectation is I want to fish. It was a huge letdown. I have to land the fish. I just have to. The fact that we didn't land it fuels that fire even more to go back, but there's a reason we didn't land it. You know, I, I, I don't know, I'm kind of into the cosmic karma. It's, it wasn't time. That means that there's supposed to be another trip because there's other things to be learned about life that, that we need to see, learn, or do. It's a sport, but there's a bigger purpose to the whole thing. Nine months later, in early July, the three of them returned for Scott and Stacy to get a second chance at landing their first muskie. Dell took the crew to a remote location that would immediately seem to offer better luck. We're uh, at a remote lake in northern Maine, border of, um, again, border of Maine and Canada. And we're looking for the elusive muskie, but we haven't had a fish in the boat from the other two fishermen, so that is our goal. Stace and Scott, get them on fish. Let's go. Let this venture begin. There it is. Oh my God. Oh. Musky, first cast. He was right down low. He was down. He's right behind it. He's right behind it. He's right behind it. He's still here. He's still here. He just followed it. He just followed it again. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Another strike. I know. Another strike. Put your tip down, strip, strip, strip. Fast one, like figure eight. Figure eight now? Yeah, yeah. Strip him more line, strip him more line. There you go. Go by his nose. Go by his face. Keep going, keep going. Where's she heading? Now what? Go. <laughs> fish. Just fish hard. I'm excited just for that right there. My heart's racing from that. It's the first fish I've seen. At least we're gonna look at him. Where is he? Where he? Uh... Holy shit! He's just sitting there. Let's see if he'll take a figure eight. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was a big fish. That was a really big fish. Typical muskie out here comes up, looks like at it, swims away. You know, it's like a dream fish for a lot of people. But even catching the little ones is exciting to me. It's awesome. They're beautiful fish, and they're, they're, you're, you're fishing the same way to catch those as you are a 60-inch fish. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, you've done everything right, and it, you're presented, and that fish feeds. So, you know, that, that to me is just, as a fly fisherman, that is the, the nod to you've done everything correctly. But all it takes is one 18 inch fish, change the whole day. Fish on! Nice. Woo, yeah, baby! I was happy, I got it done. You know, it's a small, I caught a small one, a really very small fish. Um, but it's still, it's just the same fish and uh, go, yeah, did everything right and nice got the fish in. You don't want to break the ice with a giant one. Oh, 100 miles an hour. He was fine. Yeah! You're smiling now. <laughs> okay. Scott has tried and tried and tried. Yes! Your musky. On the board. Yes! What'd you say? All you need is a what? All I need is an 18 incher and a change is the whole day. Yeah. Nice job, Scotty. Ugh. Way to keep grinding. Ugh. Caught a muskie. Caught a muskie. It's all that matters. Where I'm at right now is 
a lot to do with Kevin. So I think it says a lot about him too. There's part of me that wants to, to make Kevin proud, because I know that he would be proud of me. And I love to know that he's proud of me. That would be huge for me. Double set on it. Next time. Drive it to his brain. Drive it to his brain. Do it. You got him. You got him. Tip up. Tip up. There you go. Let him go. Let him go. There you go. that was more satisfying than that right there. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Didn't matter how big it was. It didn't matter, you know, if it wasn't a record breaker, you know, it just, that one fish changed everything. Everyone that's a newbie is trying to get to, you know, all these, the stage and everyone in the magazine and... So... So the best part of fly fishing... So the best part is the newbie stage. It's all the beginning. Everything's new. So I think for him, it's got to be kind of like uh, a teacher, some sense of pride uh, for him to be able to see that that we've done what, taken what he's taught us, and run with it, and put it all together, and you know, so yeah. Initially. The challenge seemed pretty simple. Catch a muskie in the state of Maine. But the result of that goal was so much more than just catching a fish. Three individuals enriched their souls by experiencing something new. The muskie robot. It's like a dry heave set to music.